Black Mamba versus King Cobra. What would be the outcome of a fight between the two if they battled? In addition to being exceedingly dangerous, the King Cobra and Black Mamba are known for their distinctive appearance. Black Mambas are well known for their viciousness. It is one of the most venomous snakes in the world, and it is also the quickest land snake. In numerous African stories, this snake has been blamed for the deaths of thousands of people because of its potential threat. The Black Mamba has a well-deserved reputation. In the event of a threat, they are known to attack many times and inflict enormous amounts of venom with each stroke. To put it another way, they're a top snake bite killer in a country where about 20,000 people are killed each year. King Cobras are big, deadly snakes found in India and Southeast Asia. The flattened skin of the sides of their heads, like that of many other cobra species, is a well-known and easily recognized characteristic. Whenever they are threatened, cobras use this skin to look more fearsome. A portion of their body can be lifted off the ground and they can still attack. I hope you are enjoying the video so far. Before we proceed, please consider liking the video. This will help us with the YouTube algorithm. Size and Description An adult black mamba can grow to a maximum of 14 feet in length, although most are around 6 to 8 feet long, 4.3 meters. They have fangs that are around 0.25 inches long, 6.5 millimeters. The black mamba weighs around 3.5 pounds, 1.6 kilograms. The black mamba has a long, slender tail. Instead of its olive gray skin, the black mamba's snake's name is derived from the black hue of its mouth. As the fastest moving snake in the world, the black mamba snake is capable of reaching speeds of up to 12.5 miles per hour, 20 kilometers per hour. However, rather than pursuing prey, it uses tremendous speed to flee from danger. With an average weight of 13 pounds, the king cobra's usual length is 10 to 12 feet, 3 to 3.6 meters, although it can grow to 18 feet, 5.4 meters, 6 kilograms. In comparison to their female counterparts, male king cobras are longer and heavier. King cobras can lift a third of their body off the ground. King cobras can, in fact, gaze down on the typical human being if they are standing erect. This snake, like other cobras, has a characteristic hood due to its ability to flatten its neck. King cobras hiss, raise their heads, and fold their neck ribs into their hoods when they feel threatened or attacked. The hood has fake eye spots that might scare predators away. There is nothing moist or slippery about their greasy exterior, even though it looks that way. There are a variety of colors for adult cobras, however, the most common are yellow, green, and brown. Light yellow or cream-colored is the hue of their throats. Extent and Environment the black mamba may be found in several parts of Africa and in large swaths of Central and East Africa. Most of the time, these snakes may be found on the ground, but they can also be found in a range of diverse environments, including forests. For this reason, they favor habitats with a wide range of hiding spots, such as rocky ones. Forests, woods, meadows, and savannas are just a few of the places they call home. King cobras may be found in India, Southeast Asia, and parts of East Asia. Although these reptiles can thrive in a variety of settings, deforestation is a major threat to their survival. They are located on the coasts, in mangrove forests, in the foothills of the Himalayas, and in deep highland forests. As a result of the higher concentration of prey species in watery environments like lakes and streams, they have a higher rate of survival. Diet There have been stories of black mambas being discovered with entire parrots or full-grown cobras in their digestive tracts. Black Mambas attack by biting and injecting poison into their target before releasing it. They then pursue it until it is immobilized or dies, at which time they consume it. A Black Mamba's bite generally kills its prey within minutes. The Black Mamba eats its prey whole. In order to eat food four times the size of their heads, they have flexible jaws that may be dislocated. Other snakes, even poisonous snakes, can be eaten by king cobras. This act is known as Ophiophagy. Pythons, other cobras, crates, and pit vipers are among their most common prey. During times of scarcity, they will feast on a variety of prey, including rodents and small animals, reptiles, and birds. They hunt by tracing the prey's pheromone trail. The sluggish metabolic rate of a snake allows it to survive on a single large meal for months at a time. Elephants have perished within three hours of being bitten on the toe or trunk by a king cobra, whose paralyzing venom is so plentiful and potent. Behavior 
The black mamba is a solitary creature. It is diurnal and prefers to sunbathe in the morning and in the evening, and usually in the same spot every day. Black mambas are prone to erratic behavior, although they are nimble and quick-footed. In the wild, they rarely allow humans to get closer than roughly 40 meters away from them, 130 feet. They hide in the underbrush or in a burrow when they are worried about being attacked. It's common for them to show off their black mouth and flick their tongue when they're threatened. The only time king cobras congregate is to breed. It is possible to observe them during the day and at night. The forked tongue of a king cobra, like that of other snakes, serves as a receptor for chemical information. Moving prey may be detected by king cobras from a distance of about 100 meters 330 feet. As soon as they become irritated, king cobras prefer to flee and avoid a fight. However, if they are constantly harassed, they may become quite threatening. When they are frightened, they raise the front of their body, exposing their fangs and hissing hysterically. If these two deadly snakes were to face off, which would win, black mamba or the king cobra? Even though they are common in Africa, the black mamba and king cobra do not meet in the Indian subcontinent or Southeast Asia. Hence, the black mamba would try to slither and flee, whereas the king cobra would be aggressive to get its hands on the meal. On the other hand, the black mamba would elevate their heads and tails considerably higher than cobras. King cobras, on the other hand, are more frightening because of their length, size, and hooded head. Because of their aggressive behavior, black mambas pose a threat. Despite this, they are predictable in that you can expect them to chase or flee. Because of their arrogance and cunning, king cobras pose a serious threat. They may sneak up on you or attack explosively when you least expect it, which makes them much more deadly. Drop for drop, the black mambas are more dangerous than the king cobras, but the venom from the king cobras is far more plentiful in terms of volume. In comparison, black mambas release roughly 55 milligrams of venom every bite, whereas king cobras produce 420 milligrams. The king cobra has been found to be the most intelligent snake, and its intelligence has been confirmed. Even though the other snakes are 10 times more poisonous, they approach, attack, and finally consume the other snakes. This reveals a great deal about their cognitive ability. Having said all that, it's clear that there can be only one king, the King Cobra. What do you think? Which of the two would win a possible fight? Tell us in the comments down below.